see it is growing back and it's only been what a full day since I shaved so the beard will be back shortly uh, that's not what's important though it is fuck what is today so I just uploaded episode 47 I'm behind two days dude I'm not gonna lie to you guys it is getting hard the program is almost done and a lot of the videos are recorded I'm still recording um, the editing doesn't take too long because like I said from the beginning of this it was gonna be pretty raw and uh, transparent and all that so the videos will come up and I'm not giving up the whole playlist will be there um, you know forgive me for her or you know have uh, some understanding the program is difficult I've had a lot of things come up with the training for the police academy it makes for good content but it is an adjustment that I have to make and then still putting this up and I'm not gonna lie after that PT test uh, yesterday that thing drained me it drained me I was I was done I maxed out on bench which I haven't done in years I uh, did that mile and a half like my life depended on it same thing with the 300 meter did a crazy vertical I surprised myself with it um, and you know the push-ups and the sit-ups not a big deal in a minute but it was max reps at that time so I did put you know a lot of effort a lot of effort was put in yesterday on that PT test so I was pooped after I was drained and I took a nap that I needed to recover my legs feel pretty good today so surprisingly after that run um, I guess it's because I took that nap and I made sure I stretched really good and I ate all my meals yesterday so I'm still on program today is I want to say it's it's day 54 for me and if that's the case that means this is episode 52 uh, I'm gonna cut it here just to be sure and I'll correct myself if I'm wrong all right it's day 55 actually which is crazy 20 more days till the program is done. So day 55 for me, that means this is episode uh, 2 minus, yeah, 53. It's episode 53. Wow. We're getting there. Almost done. Almost done the program. Um, almost done this, uh, the 75 hard journey. Um, definitely have come down. I know last week when I checked, I was 221.6 in weight. And uh, I looked at myself in the mirror yesterday, post doing all that. And yeah, I got to be in like the 218s or something, something like that. The running definitely helped uh, speed up the metabolism and do what, doing what uh, I needed it to. Um, so, as I said in yesterday's video, I will be hearing back whether I got in or not by Wednesday this week today's monday so in two episodes you guys will yeah by the end of the episode two days from now mm, yeah well the dates are different so that's why i keep messing up um it's right now it's right now it's day 53 on the episode right but right now i'm recording day 53 and the episode that comes out today is episode i said 48 i think it was that i i 47 it was 47 that i put up today just because the two days and that's three days behind so it's like a total of five days uh difference right that's actually six days difference i think um so i will know ahead of that but when you guys see it you guys will see it two episodes from this recording you're watching now yeah so in two episodes from this video you'll know whether i got in or not right now i have two jobs set up for tomorrow i didn't have anything set up for today um i did have a meeting this morning which is why i'm here doing this at 157 right now but i'm making good timing i have to do my laundry i have to cook and prep i'm gonna try to finally get a video going of me prepping the food for the day so i'm gonna do that today um 
Yeah. But today will be, if I'm not mistaken, today is the deload. Well, the first day of the deload process, which is awesome. Because what I'm going to do now during this deload is going to be calisthenics and a weight vest walk every single day. As well from this video on. As well as the weight training, which will be six days deloading. Then I will take my active recovery day and I will be try uh, starting the new training block at 3 RIR and I will begin to progress again on the weights. I can, uh, you guys are probably watching this, be like, why does he keep complaining about, you know, the zoo, the deload, the deload, the deload? I kept mentioning deload. And the reason was every time I was going to the gym, I was either just hitting what I did last time or I was getting weaker. So I was actually, because of the way everything was working out, the program, I skipped the deload when I switched programs during uh if you guys remember back i had switched from a full body split every day to an upper lower split because of you know the efficiency on time versus doing a set here or there or that that and you know it taking way more time setting up the weights right so this time i have it set right so i'm going to explain it's going to be done like this for a week all right so when I, I'm going to take this episode or this walk on this episode to explain what's about to go down with this final training block, um, which will be a short one. I'm going to make this a short training block because after 75 hard the program, I will be deloading again, right? Because I will be going on a maintenance for a month before starting phase one. I haven't determined yet, but I do want to record and document phase one, and I think that's what I'm going to do. But this training block here is going to be very short. So I'm going to go from, I think it's two RIR, two RIR, then one, then zero uh, when you do a four week. So it's going to be a four week training block. It's going to be intense. It's not going to be three RIR off the rip, so it's going to be just straight to it off the rip after this deload hopefully i will get stronger um, back to what i was saying with the reason i was complaining was i was getting weaker every time i went to the gym and it was counterproductive to the goals for my physique wise that i was looking for also the running i had to do was also counterproductive to that because running isn't really optimal for muscle retention when you're on a cut. Um, mainly because you're using the glycogen stores to fuel your running. Which means it's taking away from the weightlifting. And because of the way I did the weightlifting and all that, I only was lifting weights four days a week for that last week for the training block or that that short training period so that i could prepare myself for the test and a lot of how i was training was for stamina not so much for optimizing hypertrophy so in a scientific standpoint i it wasn't in line with the goals of retaining muscles while cutting and just cutting off the fat but for performance it was a good program for performance it helped me in areas that I definitely did need. Uh, I definitely noticed that the first day that I'm extremely out of shape when it comes to performance, which is important. Because um, I'm not a professional bodybuilder or anything of the means uh, or anything like that. But um, it did, that's my goals are just for looks. Uh, but I am changing as far as that goes, my mindset about that because of physical performance and being capable of getting something done, especially if something shit hits the fan, <laughs> which is funny talking about it like that. But with what's going on in the world, it's not really that funny because shit is going south. 
Um, that's how I feel about that. But I say but a lot when I'm talking, but did it again. I'm, so that's what I'm going to do for the training block. It's going to be a four-week training block. I'm going to go super hard on it. And then I'm going to do a month of maintenance. I will be documenting that. And when I document that, I am going to be focusing more on the training side of things. And the video format will change. It probably won't be a video a day like I've been doing for this. It'll probably be like two videos a week or something. Um, and I probably will edit a little bit more. I'm thinking because I will have more resources available since it is busy season and my time will be limited. I'm probably going to just record and I'm going to hire someone to do the editing. So the editing will be at a higher quality, especially for phase one, because I'll still have that person. And those are the plans for the channel and the plans for uh, the rest of the program and hopefully the content in the future for that phase one and that maintenance period i will be throwing some good videos for training and uh i guess education and stuff stuff like that form optimizing you know, connecting with muscles and stuff along that line stuff that i like stuff that i know about um, so yeah, I'm going to cut this here. I'm going to get into the quote of the day. I guess I'm just going to make up for those days I had sh super short videos with this one, which will be probably a long one. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right, there we go. All right. Quote is, it always seems impossible until it's done. What I want to talk about is Persistence, pursuing what doesn't seem possible at the moment so that it will cause you to work harder than what you would have had, it, had your goal or what you're aiming towards been something you thought you could achieve or didn't seem that hard. Why would you set a goal that doesn't seem that hard why even make a goal at all at that point if it seems like something you're already naturally progressing towards as you are currently without setting that goal then just let the natural progression of things lead you there because if it's not something that's difficult if it's not something that causes you to stretch yourself and who you are as a person to push further than what you would have had you not had that goal then that's really the point of the goal the goal is there to make you visualize every day look at it and it should motivate you or cause you to push further than what you would have had you not had it so that you can reach further and get ahead quicker and be more concise and have some sort of direction to where you're going that is the reason for the goal so it always seems impossible until it's done do not let the external voices the crowd the spectators tell you what's possible and what's not the truth is, you are way more capable than what you believe you are. Once you start being persistent, consistent, and you understand compound, compounding effort, the effort you put in, how it compounds for you to reach that goal off of small details, small actionable items stacked on top of each other to get you those wins, to get you to those goals. You're way more capable than what you believe you are. The reason you don't believe you're that capable is because you've never done anything long enough to be able to see what small actions 
can create when they're compounded on top of each other from consistency. So when you're setting a goal, when you're pushing forward, reach for the impossible. Reach for what you don't think is attainable. And as you consistently perform the actions that you set up on the map, the little roadmap you make for that goal, once you keep consistent and you keep performing those actions, the belief will come. The belief is never there in the beginning. But once you start to perform the actions and you start to see stuff progressing, you start to realize it's not as hard as you thought it was. It's hard, but it's possible. You will begin to believe. And once that belief and those actions and that consistency come together, you'll get to where you want to go. You'll start to reach goals that you have set, that you set that were impossible. And you will start to amaze yourself by what you're capable of doing and what you've accomplished. And it's worth, where I'm going with this is it's worth setting those impossible goals. Even if that first attempt, you don't reach that impossible goal, it will help you push forward had you not had the goal in the first place. And if you're shooting for the star and you don't reach those stars, you still landed on the moon. And that's pretty fucking far. So take that into consideration when coming up with goals and calling something impossible. And when someone approaches you with an idea or something that seems like it's impossible, encourage them. Because most people will try to shoot them down and you never know what someone's capable of. Once times get hard, once someone's back's against the wall, once they said they're gonna do something and they're put in a position that they have to make it happen. Some people shine the best or, or can do the most when their back's against the wall. You start to see who someone really is when their back's against the wall. I know this is a little off topic, but maybe this is something I, I really wanted to talk about is you don't know what you're truly capable of until you've put yourself into positions where you have to make something happen. Where you don't have a choice but to make something happen. I know for me personally, that's when I do the best. When I, when I have my back against the wall, that's when I perform the best. That's when I start making shit happen that I even surprise myself. So, if that's how you operate, shit, start putting yourself in those positions. You might perform better. I'm thinking about that now, and I think I need to start doing a little bit more of that. All right, that's the quote. I'm going to end it here. I'll see you guys at the gym. I will be going to the gym later on today. Um, yeah, see you guys later. I shouldn't even record this. Uh, I'd have to record it because I'm going to set everything up. Cool. I'm just going to hit for a Just got to do it. Dig, dig. So I'm at the gym, deload week, weights and shit is going to be kind of boring because uh, I'm not going super heavy, intensity is not crazy, I'm just really trying to recover. So 
programs got me on what is that 25 pounds or less half the reps same amount of sets and I'm just looking to recover from here like I was saying earlier on the walk this morning um, from here we'll get a program going the next one and uh, we'll start progressing again and going towards that goal <sighs> said I was going to probably hear back and let you guys know by Wednesday, but they actually contacted me uh, today, the next day. So I passed the exam or the test, the PT test, and uh, gonna, uh, they got me uh, doing an interview in like uh, two weeks. So everything's looking good so far. So that's an update on that. And I'm just going to keep going when I'm going with this. And... Uh, I'm gonna have to start figuring out how to do a hit or maybe do some CrossFit. I don't know. Not, never really been my thing. I never tried it. I don't even know if it is or not, but I'm gonna keep with the workout. You guys see what I'm doing. I'll see you guys in a
That was the training to deload. Um, damn, boy, I got a double chin on this shit. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, so that was it. Training's done. Super easy. Uh, my chest as unenjoyable watch as it was to do leaving so much in the tank but from doing it last time what I noticed the result you know it was worth it 100% because 
I need to, st I need to start progressing again, and those pumps are going to feel crazy again. And, well, as much as they can. Uh, I wasn't on a cut when I did this last time, but I'm assuming it's still the calories where I need them. So after this, all right. We will begin to cut down the calories. I'm doing it every other day. 